Alright, what's good YouTube? We back. I'm back with another video. I'm gonna stay consistent. Um but yeah, we back, another video. This series right here is gonna be called Truck Talk. You know, it ain't called Lamb Talk right now. It ain't called Roy's Royce Talk. It ain't BMW i8 Talk. We gonna get there. We ain't, we gonna get there one day. You might see me in the Lambo giving y'all this vital information that I think is you no know, beneficial. But well, right now, I just regular old truck talk, Cascadia talk, <laughs> Freightliner Cascadia talk. But basically, man, this right here, this truck talk, is where I'm gonna give y'all you know vital information that I believe could be beneficial. You know, whether it's about trucking um whether it's about um you know business credit real estate any anything man it's gonna be truck talk right here it's gonna be truck talk specifically truck talk but today what we're gonna get into is you know who am i you know you know what i'm saying and why did i get into trucking pretty much so basically you know you know as y'all can tell from my channel name my name is Devin pretty much i'm 26 years old um from indiana kind of indiana and north carolina so i grew up in like gary indiana like my first basically my childhood pretty much then i moved to north carolina like my last four years of school type you know what i'm saying so that's how that went and then you know pretty much you know normal life you know no rich parents you know what i'm saying um you know there's a regular regular it's, it's the same story y'all y'all know how it is it's the same story you know you grew up in a bad bad neighborhood whatever same old stuff everybody tired of hearing that we don't, we don't care it's the same shit but you know um uh pretty much um yeah, I was about to say, I don't forget. Damn. Um, but yeah. Uh, what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. You know what I'm saying? My last four years of high school, whatever. Um, then immediately after I graduated, I went to the Air Force. So I went to the Air Force. Um, I signed a six year contract. Um, on a six-year contract uh immediately i was 18 years old i got sent to korea so i was in korea for one year and then after that i basically did the rest of my time in uh japan you know what i'm saying I was, I was like an hour away from tokyo you know what i'm saying but uh i get more in depth on that stuff the air force stuff i can make a separate video on that if y'all want to know more about my air force experience and things of that nature i didn't travel all over the world you know but i've been to plenty of countries i've been to uh japan korea thailand uh spain i've been to magaluf it's an island off of spain ibiza i've been to germany frankfurt i've been to england um i've been to croatia I, i've been a lot of places at a young age that you know what i'm saying i'm grateful to experience because i know that a lot of people don't get those experiences you know especially where i'm from so I basically capitalized off of that, you know, you know what I'm saying? Just being in the military and saving my money and traveling to make sure I did everything at a young age. I really did everything at a young age, you know? So, um, got to travel, things of those natures. Um, and it was a great experience, you know? Um, had a good time in the military. You know, it's, it's ups and downs in the military, you know? Some people say it's bad, some people say it's good, you know? I can honestly say I had a I had a good time in the military, you know what I'm saying? But I had to get out. Um that's basically how we're gonna get into why I started trucking and things of that nature. I started trucking because, you know what I'm saying, I wanted to get out of the military. I wanted to lead the Air Force, you know. Uh after my fourth year in, remember I signed a six year contract, but I got to year four, I made E five, I made staff sergeant, my fourth year my fourth year in. And I just noticed that, you know, uh the money wasn't where I thought it should be. And I'm not one of them people that's gonna complain and not fix the problem, you know what I'm saying? So as I noticed that I felt like I deserve more income, I was like, well, what can I do, you know? So 
at year four, I started making my plan on what I'm going to do. Because I knew I was going to get out and I was not re-enlisting. So, you know, I got out because, you know, May E5, they want you to do a lot. They want you to do a lot more things, you know, work-wise and workload, which didn't make sense to me because my pay didn't equate to what they wanted me to do. So I'm just like, I'm not doing all of that. No. Nah. I think, like, my... I think uh, I was getting paid like $1,700 every two weeks when I was in the military towards the end of my career, you know, but that's good money being in the, mil in, in, in the military. Depending on how your situation is, you may not have any bills, you know what I'm saying? I was overseas, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't have to worry about a car note, nothing like that. I bought a car cash, you know what I'm saying? I bought a, a 300ZX Nissan, you know what I'm saying? Twin turbo, that's my dream car. Another, another story time on that. Y'all want to know what happened to my car <laughs> in the military. But yeah, I had that. Um, only bill I had was probably like a phone bill and an internet bill. So, you know, I was saving a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? The military, you could be you could be very well off because they'll take care of you. But you would never be wealthy in a sense. Depending on what's wealthy to you. Because what's wealthy to me may not be to somebody else. You know what I'm saying? You know, like everybody always ask me you know when uh when i got out why don't you just stay in man you get all the benefits uh you get a you get a 401 all right we're back i don't know how to my phone but it was like it was like yeah you get you a 401k or tsp in the military and you get to retire after 20 years yeah that sounds good but it's like on average let's say you you retire as a e6 e7 e8 you're only gonna get 50 percent of your paycheck you know what i'm saying of your base pay so let's just say you retire and you get $1,500 a month for the rest of your life. Like, that didn't make sense to me. Like, I'm going to work 20 years just to get, like, fifteen dollars to 1700 for the rest of my life. When I can find something now at my early age that can bring that money in monthly or bring it in weekly. You know what I'm saying? A side hustle or an investment. So that that was that's what got me started started thinking. You know what I'm saying? I always had the entrepreneur mindset. But when I went into the military... It kind of like my, my entrepreneurship kind of like went away. Like I kind of got like brainwashed in a sense, you know, you know, because being around people in the military, they, they got the same kind of mindset in a sense, you know. I'm not speaking bad on nobody, you know. It's not bad, but I got back something. Something woke back up to me. Like my entrepreneur spirit just woke back up in my head, and I'm like, Devin, that don't make sense. Like 20 years and you only getting 1,500 for the rest of your life, or 2,000 for the rest of your life, you know. That's not. That's not, no, nah, I can find something now that I can invest in and get that weekly or get that monthly, you know what I'm saying? Or get that every three months, something like that, you know what I'm saying? So that's when I started looking into stocks, you know, I started looking into stocks, you know what I'm saying? I started off with a with a mutual fund, which invested into the S&P 500. Those are like the top 500 companies in the world. And basically you just put your money into account and they invest it for you. You know what I'm saying? So I was learning. So then after that, I started messing with individual stocks. I bought, you know, a couple of Facebook. It was like 2017, I believe, or 2018, I bought some Facebook. And then I just noticed that it went up. I had bought it at like, I think it was like, like I forgot what it was. Maybe it was like 150 and it went up like $20 to 170 Then I sold it. So then I got a sense of stocks and how, is, how does it work and how you can gain money and things of that nature. And I started, you know, doing my research. So I was like, okay, I like stocks. Then I started, you know, doing other, seeing other ways how to make money. I started looking into real estate. I started looking into, you know, a whole lot of things. So, um, I was just like, you know what? I'm going, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to figure out something. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to figure it out. Um, my pops had called me. He was like, you should look into, uh, dump trucks. So when he gave me an idea and I was like, all right, let me look, let me look into dump trucks. So Right away, you know what I'm saying? I started making my LLC, you know what I'm saying? I made my LLC, and then I'm looking at all these LLC videos, you know what I'm saying? I did it myself, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people, they go on websites and get it, get it paid, and people, people do it for them, but you can do it for yourself way cheaper. Me, I like, I'm frugal, I like saving money, I like saving money. So I uh, did my LLC myself, um, and I did it the right way, like, the business address, the one eight hundred. You know, you know what I'm saying that's a video. That's another. That's another video for a different day because I'm gonna put y'all on game on all that. So don't worry. That, just, just remind me in the comments. I start doing all of that. So, um, making my LLC, looking up business credit, all that, and uh, you know, um, 
eventually, you know, towards me getting out, you know what I'm saying, I bought a dump truck, you know. I bought my dump truck while I was still in the military, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I, so I ended up, I, buy, I bought some dump trucks. Um, um, I, mean, I bought some dump trucks. And that was just it. I, you know, I, started, I started shifting my mind. I started focusing on myself more, you know what I'm saying? I started reading books. I started reading books. I started meditating heavily, heavily, you know what I'm saying? Meditating, you know, just finding, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Just you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, just elevating my consciousness, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, and getting closer with the most high, you know? Whatever you believe in, that's what you believe in. You, you know what I'm saying? I got no problem with anything. Just do you. I don't care what nobody else do. I'm going to worry about me and what I, what I believe in, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to force it or push it on nobody. But, you know, meditation and, you know what I'm saying? You know, <laughs> opening that, you know? Yeah, I mean, we ain't gonna talk about that. That's another video for another day. You know, I got videos for days for y'all, you know. So, just know I got content for y'all. So, yeah, I just realized that, hey, it was time for me to get out. I had my plan. I saved up so much money. I'm so frugal, you know what I'm saying? I saved up money. I had money to invest. I had a whole bunch of stocks. You know, I still got my stocks to this day. Um, I bought a couple of houses, you know what I'm saying? I bought a multifamily home. You know what I'm saying? I did, I did a lot of stuff before I got out. You know what I'm saying? To set myself up for when I get out. So I was very prepared. I didn't tell nobody because, you know what I'm saying? I told my close friends what I was doing, but I didn't tell nobody, you know, in the Air Force that, hey, I'm going to get out. I'm doing this because, like, when you say you're going to do those things, they kind of treat you differently when they figure, hey, you about to get out? Oh, okay, well, fuck him. We finna, you know what I'm saying? Do all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Or, or he think he better than us or he think... Is something else better than the military? Some people do think like this. I'm not saying everybody. So that's why I, I I keep things to myself. You know what I'm saying? Keep stuff in my small circle because you never know who rooting for you and who trying to bring you down. So that's why you want to keep it to a, to your small friend group. You know what I'm saying? And that's just you know that's just basically it. And that's how I pretty much how I'm here now. You know, young black man. I'm doing good for myself. I'm not bragging. I'm humble. I'm always humble. I'm the most humble person. And yeah, that's how I pretty much got I got into trucking. That's what got me into trucking. I bought some dumb trucks. And after that, I bought me a semi truck. I bought me a semi truck like April or May of this year. So uh it's a very good feeling. I wish I would have recorded it and did more to to, you know, pretty much y'all yeah, follow this journey with me. But we on this journey together now. Let's stay on it and let's stick with it. And that's just that's a that's a little bit about me uh i hope y'all appreciate the video me being so transparent with things but um shit, that's pretty much it uh y'all stay tuned for the next truck talk and i'm out <laughs>